struggling to make ends meet. Why has the minister allowed for federal supports to go towards CEOs instead of Canadian workers? The Honourable Parliamentary Secretary to the Minister of Finance. Mr. Speaker, when COVID first hit, businesses had to close their doors to keep Canadians safe. Today, we have more active businesses than we did before COVID, and we are seeing that bankruptcies and insolvencies are below normal levels. Thanks to our government's decisive economic policies, we've avoided the economic scarring that followed the 2008 economic crisis. The Honourable Member for Calgary, Mindapore. ESDC was made aware in July of 2020 of over $442 million in double payments for the Canada Emergency Response Benefit. However, the Auditor General can't audit the program until the CRA verifies whether recipients meet eligibility requirements, which won't be until 2023. Will the government start verifying the eligibility now so that Canadians can know how their tax dollars are being spent. The Honourable Parliamentary Secretary. Mr. Speaker, our government is focusing on making sure that Canadians and Canadian workers have the measures that they need to support, be supported during this pandemic crisis. Uh, it is unfortunate that with the verge of Omicron that the Conservative Party voted against C2, it brought in measures that are currently supporting Canadians. We are going to be there for Canadians. We made a promise to do whatever it takes for as long as it takes. We're going to continue doing just that, Mr. Speaker. 